Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. So I'm uh, back in the garage. We're doing a little build today. Now, uh, to all the people that have, have already been following my channel, you'll have seen a, uh, about two or three videos ago, I made a 45 pound uh, PVC bow. Now, you know what? I've honestly, in these last couple weeks, have uh, as absolutely fallen in love with traditional archery. Now, uh, I am on a hunt for a really good hardwood to make my first self bow. Uh, for now, I'm just gonna build some PVC bows. That's, pr uh, that's fine with me. Um, so today, what I ended up doing, I'm not gonna go through a build of this particular jig. Um, here, I'll show you. So it is a dowel making jig. Um, literally took me 15 minutes to put that thing together. And what I'm trying to do is I'm actually trying to make wooden arrow shafts. Uh, so this is my first two wooden arrow shafts. Uh, I am making these out of cedar because uh, I have some cedar kicking around. Um, so yeah, so like I said, um, I really want to get into like building every little piece of the bow myself. I want to make my own arrows. I want to do the get the fletching myself. Uh, I just harvested a deer leg. Uh, to get the sinew out of it, and I'm actually going to use that sinew to wrap my fletching and and uh, wrap my arrowheads. I'm going to make some arrowheads out of some O1 tool steel, so it's going to be nice and hardenable. I'll be able to sharpen it up real nice. And then I also want to make a bowstring out of an animal hide. So I have a bunch of rabbit hides. I'm probably going to use that. I've watched a couple videos on it. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty excited. There's going to be a lot of cool cool traditional old school primitive stuff um basically my whole goal is if i'm to be ever dropped into the into a survival situation uh, i want to be able to build my own bow out of the material that are around me and know how to if i ever had to be in that situation and you know it's just really rewarding building something yourself so anyways enough of me chit chatting let's get to building uh there's not a whole lot to that's going to be to this video uh it's pretty simple i'll show you guys what I have, the couple little steps um, I do to get me some arrow shafts. And then, of course, we're gonna be, in a, in a following video, we'll be attaching uh, fletching to it and an arrow to it. And then we're gonna shoot them and see if they work. All right, so here's the stock blank that I have. It's a piece of scrap cedar that I have. Uh, I got actually a big trunk of cedar that I'm gonna be using strictly for shafts but i want to use some of my scrap cedar just to kind of get all the kinks out of it now a couple things i did learn um any of the pieces of wood that i had like micro knots or whatever don't use it um soon as the chisel hits that knot it snaps it so you want to go through it and make sure you got some nice grain uh and no knots whatsoever all right so now uh, before we run this through what I'd like to take is actually uh, my little hand plane and I'll get rid of all these uh, sharp edges just so it doesn't catch on that chisel and tend to uh, just break the grain right off, all right? Always make sure like all of it is gone. You want the dowel, this piece of wood to be as close as, to the size of the dowel it's going to be going in. Now, on the very end, uh, this is the portion that's going to be fed into there. I always like to go. Uh, Nice and tapered. It just helps with starting it. Um, and then just go in, put it in your truck inside your drill. Um, <clears throat> so, what I did last time, which seemed to work pretty good, is honestly, I just, before I even fed it through a dowel maker, I just ran some 80 grit on there. Just to help with those really sharp edges. Uh, what I noticed too is with the smaller dowels, it's a little bit easier to do. Uh, these bigger dowels, uh, got to take some um, 
some precautions so you don't snap it halfway through because you want the majority of the length of this. All right, so let's run this through uh, the, the dowel maker I made today and see how she looks. So there it is, uh, cedar shaft. So it was not very hard to make at all. Um, now I'm excited to add the rest of the stuff to this and actually make this a proper arrow. Uh, if any of you guys are wondering what size uh, dowel jig I made there, the hole is in 11 30 seconds. Um, so yeah, because I was you know researching different shaft sizes, and it seems like 11 30 seconds is the good middle ground. So that's what I'm gonna start with. You know, if I have to uh, modify it from in the future, then I definitely will. Anyways, like I said, nice short build. Um, I'm going to have a couple little build series just on arrow making and then also on bowstring making. So if you guys uh, are liking this content, don't forget to hit, give me a big like and keep tune, tuned into this channel because i uh, got lots of fun little build videos that is coming up. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys on the next one.